Good morning. It's Monday, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, My Heart Belongs to You, and our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. These three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Roughly 72 million adults will combine to spend a couple of billion dollars on gifts for their loved ones today. In America, pet dogs come in higher on the Valentine's Day gift list than cats, 53% to 47%. The reason may be because dogs wag their tails at you as a sign that they're glad to see you, while a cat's wagging tail is a veiled warning your kitty is getting ready to shred your arm. Teachers receive more valentines than anyone else. may certainly be a sense of admiration from their little students, but I've long suspected it might be a way to a better report card. All this may well be revealed at the Great White Throne Judgment, but until that time, it's fun to wonder why lovers do what they do. Of course, I'm always prepared for Valentine's Day. I've got an advantage. Two days prior is the anniversary of the day Elizabeth and I got married. That advantage of February 12, 1967, being the best day of my life, all the TV advertising the month before the great card, flower, and chocolate exchange makes it impossible for me to forget the way she looked walking down the aisle. This year, that Thanksgiving for my blessings takes on a new memory. I'm thankful for the love shown me by the nurses and staff at Lexington Hospital's Cardio Rehabilitation Unit. It's impossible to miss the sense of dedication and purpose surrounding that great team of mercy. I spent the mornings of 36 days, over five months, being guided through exercises and health education with Cynthia, Kathy, Elizabeth, and Teresa. They are a great team that exudes energy, positive direction, and encouragement. Of course, the silent partner of the team is Tin Man. He was always on the job. I found out that a previous patient made that fellow as a thanks gift for the staff. I can identify. He's the tin man in the movie The Wizard of Oz who lamented to Dorothy, I don't have a heart. Well, tin man found his heart by the end of the movie, and I sat under his likeness all those mornings trying to encourage my heart to behave itself. This Valentine's Day, I'm going to be basking in the glow of having spent 55 years with my bride, my best friend. I'll also be thankful for new friends who helped me develop an attitude of recovery. I'm also going to take with me the image of Tin Man's sincere joy and loyalty as a reminder that love comes in many shades, colors, sizes, touches, and selfless deeds. It's my calling in this life to serve He who is the source of joy, Jesus Christ. I serve the one who gave the ultimate gift of love, His life, in exchange for my need of forgiveness. And each time I'm reminded of that, because someone exercised kindness or helpfulness or unselfishness to bless me, like the Tin Man, I find a little more of what my heart was designed to be. For you today... You've got a heart. You were designed with one that can love or hate. When you dwell on the good and lovely things in this life, like people who've been a blessing to you and the God who loves you, you're likely to use the energy and breath God gave you to pass along joy and hope to others. Now, in a world so challenged with hatred and violence and sadness, there's a great need for the heart inside you and me that will say, I love you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.